Hello guys, welcome to another video and today we will be explaining, I will be explaining to you human cells and coagulation. Okay. First we're going I'm going to explain coagulation. Human cells for later. So coagulation is basically when um different kinds of cells create a scab. Here's an example. Have you ever gotten like a cut and like it was bleeding a little and after that a few days later it's gone? Well this is how it works. So first imagine your skin gets breached and then you <coughs> it goes to goes through your skin into your blood cells, into your blood vessels. And then and then creates a cut right here it's a hole and then what happens next different cells come in and try to fix the wound creating a scalp so here are the different kinds of cells. this is a platelet which is which will be included in the second paper and then these are fibroblasts which are basically just a uh, little little bits of fiber of collagen I think. Okay, this is how it happens. First, a bunch of platelets start sticking to the damaged area. And after that, <coughs> so, some fibroblasts cling on and start like, like imagine a bunch of, <coughs> I don't know how to explain this, imagine like a bunch of strings, like that. Some straight strings, like, no, enough, like, Imagine some cotton, and then there's like, I mean, imagine a ball of the, of Velcro, <coughs> like that, and then it will stick together. And then if you take a lot of them and stick them together, they will stay. <coughs> and after that, once you get a lump of those Velcro balls, which represent the platelets, you, you will get some fibroblasts, which are represented by some like sticky string. I mean, a string, which like helps keep them all together and stuff. <coughs> so, this you can see here is fiber or collagen, I'm not sure. They're called fibroblasts, so I think they're fiber, but I'm afraid they're also made of collagen. So, you can see that it's made of like a bunch of um, <coughs> fibroblasts strung around. Like the string analogy, and then some platelets, like the Velcro analogy. Okay. Also, sometimes the blood cells also get inside the scalp. I think that's why it turns brown. <coughs> okay. Now we're moving on to the next topic. Uh, a brief explanation of all human cells inside of the body. Okay, let's go. This will be only brief. Because there are so many things that each of them do that I can't explain in just one video. So, this, this is a red blood cell. Basically, using hemoglobin, the hemoglobin is going to like, uh, it will trap the oxygen, that which is called oxygenation. And once it goes to a regular cell or a tissue cell, it can... It will, it will transfer the oxygen so that it can use it. That is what a red blood cell is. Also, it does not have any nucleus or DNA to, for it to, and so it doesn't have, so, so it doesn't have any, like, it cannot replicate. It cannot, and I'm not very sure if these things are alive. I don't think they're even alive. I, I, pretty much I think they just live in packages that somehow transfer oxygen to other cells next skin cells this is what your skin is made of um if you look at your skin you will see a lot of them but they're flattened and dead next muscle cells these make up muscles the three types of muscles are um skeletal muscles cardiac muscles and um another type of muscle that i forgot what it's called next leukocyte 
Oh, wait, I forgot. Muscle cells, cells have to contract. Like, like for example, when you, when you bend your arm to get a donut or something, or when you like bend your arm to get a donut or something, you have to use your muscles, which are just a collection of muscle cells. You are a collection of cells. So, like they have to like contract and stuff. They have to do different things just for you to move around or get your heart beaten. If your heart doesn't beat, you are dead. If your heart doesn't beat. Leukocytes. These are basically white blood cells. You can look at the leukocyte chart is to look what because there are different types of leukocytes um you can look at the leukocyte chart which i explained which i showed in my first video about biology next stomach cells this line this basically um, you know your stomach is just like uh, these things make up your stomach they produce acid and um there is mucus around them to protect them from the acid degree. And this also lines the stomach wall. Next, this is a pancreas cell. This pancreas cell basically produces insulin so that other cells can can get energy because insulin here's a here's a short explanation of how glucose isn't taken. So basically glucose get stays outside of the cell um, insulin goes inside of ENPP1 it's phosphorylated by IRS and and then now and then once the phosphorylated insulin activates the GLUT4 GLUT4 basically lets in the glucose so that's how they live without pancreas cells they will not live because they have no food next eye cells there's only two types of eye cells but Okay, so there are rods and cones. These are present in the retina, or retina of the cell. So, rods basically shown by the colors. They use the colors I used to draw them. Um, they you they are good at looking at like monochrome. I think this also sense depth. And then cones, they basically collect color in a in like a mix of red green and blue but not like red red and red and green make brown it's more like red and green make yellow so they can see red green and blue light mixing also the one you've heard about the um, red mixed with blue equals purple like that that's called subtractive color mixing i think even though the colors used to do that are sign yellow and magenta um, okay, moving on. This is a stem cell. So a stem cell basically can turn into everything in this chart. So like, it's basically an undifferentiated cell. Dif undif differentiated means it has turned into a type of cell, like a muscle cell, or a stomach cell, or even a leukocyte. But these stem cells did not do anything yet. So... They, they just have the genetic code, everything is off. They need to be like, parts of it, of the genetic code needs to be turned on so that they can become another type of cell. Next, these are the gametes. A sperm cell which contains 23 chromosomes. And, uh, yeah. It, it fuses with the egg cell. And then when they fuse, you get for it. 46 chromosomes creating a zygote which is a fertilized gamete fertilization happens when a sperm cell and an egg cell unite and then their dna are more turn into one cell they mix around like that and boom you got a reproductive cell or and when, when they when they fuse you get a zygote which is a fertilized gamete and it can now turn into a cute little baby. Um, neurons. Neurons basically send, make up your brain and send signals around. Me fun fact: memories are basically repeating signals inside of your brain. This is, and you can see here this line. I know 
looks like an analytic cell, but it's not. So, so this thing here is an axon. It um like sends the signals that create the electrical pulse in your neurons. Uh, these axons are protected by myelin sheath, um, which basically protect it. There's a disease where, um, like I think it's a type of autoimmune disease, where the where, um, different kinds of cells, like for example the microglia, because they're the innate immune system cells that stay in your brain. Microglia, I don't know much about microglia, and I didn't list them here since they're a type of leukocyte. Now, this is a neuron. Okay, I mean next. Platelet. Platelets are basically the, the little brown dots you see here that I explained earlier. So, like, they basically help form scabs with the help of fibroblasts, which I didn't add because I don't really know what they look like, and, and here I just drew them as lines, so yeah. This is the mega mega karyocyte. The mega karyocyte basically, like parts of its cell membrane, are can be removed, and that's what makes up a platelet. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.